Capricorns! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This was September 1st to the 11th. So for my newbies, hello! I always go over my meditative session and then I go ahead and get into the reading. Keep in mind, meditative sessions, um, I basically tap into energy that's in and around you. Okay, so it could come from you directly or someone from your environment or someone that's energetically attached to you, okay? And I used to do a pre-shuffle and I don't anymore, but I really gotta want, I really want to address some cards that came out when I was prepping the deck before I talked about med my meditative session. I saw the Eight of Pentacles, Justice in Reverse, mm. King of Wands in Reverse, Lovers, and the Queen of Pentacles and the Tower in Reverse. Capricorn, you recently suffered a little bit of a tower moment, okay? <laughs> Uh, but you're hard at work already. It's like with the Eight of Pentacles and Justice in a verse, um, some of you are spending time trying to figure it out. Like some of you are spending time uh, trying to figure out like why it happened, how it happened, what the purpose of this tower was and or is. For those who haven't experienced it yet, what the, what the purpose will be. But I feel like very quickly you're going back to work. Like very quickly you're like, okay, that happened. Work time. <laughs> okay, it happened. I can't do anything about it. I got to go back to work. Um, and some of you, you know, Capricorns, you tend to do that, right? Some of you tend to do this. Some of you, this tower could have happened at work. Um, it could have just been in it, like, you know, it could be something very, very minor to something very major. It could be you didn't get the promotion that you thought you wanted, that you thought you were going to get and wanted. Everyone wants a promotion, right? <laughs> you didn't get the promo promotion you thought you were going to get. You didn't get the project you thought you were going to get. You probably had a fight with someone at work. Um, I felt a lot of pentacle energy, a lot of pentacle energy, Capricorn. So I really just wanted to address that. As far as your meditative session goes, they actually showed me the seven of wands or the seven of cups in my mind's eye. Uh, so Capricorns, I, I really feel like you want to date, but you don't want to date. <laughs> like you want to date and you'll go on a date and you'll be defensive. Like that's kind of how it feels to be honest. Like you'll be very guarded. Oh, what is what this little curl back here? Oh, okay. Whatever. Um, like you'll go on a date and you'll be a little guarded. Um, I feel, and that's the thing Capricorns, I feel like you have a lot of attention on you right now. A lot of attention. Um, there are a lot of people who are pining after you, a lot of people who want to show you that love and affection, but Capricorns, you're a little blocked off. Some of you might be blocked off because of this recent tower moment that you've experienced, so please keep that in mind. The next thing that's weird, I saw a skunk. I don't know what that's about. Does something stink? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I saw a skunk, and like I said, I'm not sure the spiritual meaning behind skunk. Um intuitively i do feel a little bit of like uh like how do i say this not not malicious it's like playful mischievous thank you that's what i'm looking for i feel a little bit of like a mischievous energy there like almost and you know actually kind of like a king of wands in reverse energy that came out with the lovers card in um as i was prepping the deck for you yeah yeah a little bit of like a playful mischievous like what is this person up to kind of energy and it's like you play with a skunk you're gonna get sprayed just saying just saying okay capricorns let's go ahead and get into your reading keep in mind for those who are new to my channel or new to tarot uh these are very general readings they are not going to be for everybody messages come through for those who really need to hear them sometimes that'll be you and sometimes that won't be you and if it's not your week it's totally okay please check out any other readers on youtube there are a lot of great readers here on youtube okay and i subscribe to a lot of them okay um also guys we are working with energy so just know that energy can be vice versa it can be you know, you could be totally resonating, but if like the roles are reversed for you, just reverse them. That's totally fine. It's fluid. It's not linear. Okay. Also, don't be hung up on the gender of the cards. Um, gender does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay, Capricorns, let's get into this. Yeah, I feel like I'm tapping into a lot of single Capricorns. Uh, ooh. <laughs> a lot of single Capricorns or newly single Capricorns. Oh, yeah. For some of you, I feel like uh, you might have been doing a bit of a player, okay? King of Wands Adverse is known to be a bit of a player. Someone is just looking for that, like, gratification. Uh, but attached to a lover's card, though, I mean, that's like a King of Wands with lovers. That tells me that there probably is, is a very intense connection there, or at least, a, like, a very spiritual connection there. It's kind of unfortunate. It happens, though. Uh, but some of you could have been in an actual relationship with someone and maybe felt, felt like, hey, you know what? You don't really take me seriously. Um, and that could have been your tower moment. That's just for some of you. <coughs> and, of course, I already need water. Excuse me. Mm. Mm. Okay, Caps, let's continue. Any messages for Capricorn? Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Okay. God, these glasses keep falling. It's just making me nuts. 
Any messages for Capri? Oh my. Oh, interesting. Magician. Mercurial energy could also be Virgo, Gemini. Um, Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. And the hair font is Taurian energy here. Manifesting, man. Someone's trying. To, someone's being guided to manifest. I also feel like someone's trying to manifest a commitment. Someone's trying to manifest an agreement. Contract. Could be business. Could definitely be business related. Uh, Cap, this could be you trying to formulate your next business move, your next business. I, I'm getting business. It is Cappy energy. Um, but I feel a contract at the heart of this. Someone's trying to manifest a con manifest loyalty. Wait a minute. Can't really manifest loyalty. That's a free will thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like someone's trying to manifest a commitment or an agreement or a contract. Contract is coming in very heavy. Oh, wow. Oh my, oh my, the moon. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader and the nine of wands, Sag energy. Ooh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Ooh. I heard what's behind closed doors. Oh, okay, okay. What's behind closed doors is someone who's losing their shit, is what I'm getting, actually. Cap, this could be you or someone you're connecting with. I feel like someone's angry. Oh, it's got me, it's giving me the chills. I feel like someone's angry, but it's like, it's, it's like behind closed doors. It's almost like, um, for some, it could be like a suppressed rage. But it, it's like, there's something hidden about this. I'm like, why is this hidden? I feel like it's attached to secrets. Anyway, behind closed doors, someone's angry or someone's a rageaholic. Uh, someone's angry. Someone's angry. Someone's really on the defensive here. Someone's really on the defensive. Oh, Cap, I gotta be honest. I feel like it's you. It could be someone you're connecting to, but I gotta be honest. I do feel like this is your energy. Definitely feel like this is your energy. Let's see what else we have here. Any messages for Capricorn? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? Ooh, six of wands in reverse. Oh, okay, okay. Leo energy. Something. Someone feels a little like they're not getting the attention here. Uh, someone feels like they're not getting the attention they deserve. The recognition they deserve. Capricorns, are you planning something? <laughs> uh, I think that's why you're keeping your anger under wraps. I feel like you're planning something here. You're planning something because, okay, yeah, again, more of that tower energy. Like, you didn't get the promotion you thought you were going to get, the project you were going to get. Whatever you thought you were going to get, you didn't get. And behind closed doors, you're, like, simmering. You're simmering about it. But I feel like that's a wise choice, Capricorn. I feel like that's actually the wise thing to do because in the meantime, you might be already manifesting something else, a different commitment of sorts, and you're not really telling anybody. Any messages for Capricorn? Didn't mean to put you on blast, Cappies. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Ooh, okay. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh boy, Cappies. Okay. So, oh God. So we have Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. And then we have the King of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. It could also be water or air. I don't like this energy, Caps. I don't. I don't. I, I like, I can't get, I can't get away from this feeling of like, um, Again, something didn't work out in your favor. Something didn't work out in the way you thought it would. You didn't get the, the recognition, the accolades, the attention, whatever, what have you. Um, but this energy, it's almost like wanting another shot at it. Wanting another shot at it. But King of Cups in reverse, whoever's at the core of this, like if this is someone who got like, okay, for example, if you missed out on the promotion, this would be your boss, right? They don't care. Cappies, they don't care. I just feel a little, I feel very cold energy from this person. They don't care. They don't care. Cappies, just be mindful. Just be mindful. I mean, like I said, behind closed doors, you're, you're seething. You're seething, but you're plotting. And you're, it's like you're, you already are like in the works for like, for, for taking another shot at something. It's almost like you're setting up your plan B while you try another shot at plan A. <laughs> That's kind of how it feels. That's very Capricorn. Very Capricorn. Overall energy, we have, oh yeah, four of cups. 
Cancerian energy, and then we have the King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air. Underneath that, we do have the Four of Wands, Aries energy. What did I say about that King of Wands energy, right? The Four of Cups with the King of Wands and the Four of Wands. I feel like this king like really doesn't know what they want. They don't know what they want. But yeah, underneath that, look at that. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Jupiter energy. They don't know what they want. They're sitting. They're sitting on it. Yeah. Capricorns, this king is the same person, by the way. Same person. Um, so if, you, if they chose, like, another person over you for a job or a promotion or a project or whatever, uh, they don't really care because it's something that they just don't really want to put any energy into. They just don't really care. I hate to say it like that, but they just don't really care. Uh, if this is a romantic situation here, um, it's so funny because it's on their mind. It's clearly on their mind. A foundation is on their mind. A relationship is on their mind. But then they have the Four of Cups. Like, they're not sure they want it. They're not sure they want it. They're holding back a lot. This person's very being very resistant about something. For those where this is a romantic situation, uh, I'm getting a lot of resistance from that. Like, it's not just about, like, it's not just about can I leave it or take it. There's something actually preventing them. Because the Wheel of Fortune Reverse is right here. Jupiter Energy. Underneath that, we do have a Knight of... Oh, wow. We have a Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. And then we've got the freaking Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Heading straight into long-term security, wealth. It could even be, again, focused on money or career. Yeah. Sag, this is fascinating. They're sitting on it. They're just not sure if they want to go for it. If this is a love situation. They're just not sure they want to go for it. You're, you're already, like I said, you're already like thinking of an attempt for a plan A, like for the original plan A with this person, business lover otherwise, while you're manifesting a plan B just in case, okay? <laughs> oh, Cappies, I love you. I love you. Okay, uh, so you're manifesting this, manifesting this. In the meantime, you're secretly saving. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of, it's kind of funny because it's like, it's so methodical. It's so methodical, everything, like the way you're going about this, Capricorn. Um, do I want to cover the moon or the nine of wands? Tempted to do both, but we don't have time. We don't have time. Let's do the moon. Let's do the moon. The moon's more fun. Um, uh, use right away to clarify. Time out the moon. So, for example, if this is like work, right? You're you're ta you're taking a second jab at what you did, you felt like you didn't get looked at properly. Like, yeah, caps. It almost feels like you were passed over. Like. Do they not see my hard work? Do they not see everything that I'm capable of? Do they not see my skill set? Do they just not fucking see me? Like, it's, it's, that, it's that kind of energy. It's that kind of energy. Capricorns, I feel like some of you have probably felt that energy for yourself before, um, where you've got, been passed over for quite a bit, or just not appreciated. Yeah, there you go. Not appreciated. Not appreciated. So you're taking a jab again at plan A, but you still got a plan B going on in the works. I love you, Capricorn. So about the moon. For Capricorn. Oh, we've just heard Pisces. Talking about the moon. For Capricorn. Someone could have um, a Sag Moon placement here. I don't know why that's jumping out at me. A Sag Moon placement. Tell me about the moon. For Capricorn. Tell me about the moon. For Capricorn. And see, that's the thing I love about you, Caps. It's like, you're not just sitting on your butt waiting for shit to happen. You're like, oh, no, no. I need to be proactive here. I'm going on the offensive. <laughs> Tell me about the moon for Capricorn. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. That's a lot of cards. That's a lot of cards. Take it. Ah, okay. Tell me about the moon. My guide told me to take all those cards. It's just a lot. Tell me about the moon for Capricorn, September 1st to the 11th. Let's see if anything else wants to come out. Nine of Cups is right on the top, though. I like seeing that. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon for Capricorn regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. And Capricorn, like, if this is love for you, if this is love, do you really want to try a jab at another chance with someone who just doesn't care? I mean, that's really how this feels. I got to be honest, guys. It's like this person doesn't feel very emotionally invested here. And in fact, it's like they're sitting in more of a, how do I say this? More of a grounded King of Wands energy as opposed to an ungrounded King of Cups energy. And like King of Wands, it's like, they're about the fun. They're about the fun. So I'm just saying. Think about that. Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon for Capricorn. I gotta be honest. It's almost like this king doesn't really want to go in like the, the emotional realm. That's kind of how this is feeling. 
All right, so let's see here. Well, my ring, my ring wants to come off. Oh, oh, caps. Oh shit. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. Queen of Pentacles. Cappy. Here's you showing up in your reading. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water. Justice in reverse. Yeah, you're pissed about something that you felt like was a wrong to you. Ooh, death in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Keep it down with Scorpion unnecessarily. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Jupiter energy that made his second appearance. Oh, and then we have a Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy, and the Nine of Cups, Piscean energy. Mmm. Cappies. Overall, we have a Ten of Swords. Oh, Ten of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Seven of Swords. Aquarian energy. Oh, Caps, I don't like this. I don't like this. You feel betrayed by someone. You feel like someone betrayed you. You feel like someone backstabbed you. Ugh. Cappies. That's why you're seething. That's why you're seething. It's like if someone made a promise to you, they didn't deliver. Uh, if someone said you're going to get this, they didn't deliver. Some of you were flat out lied to. <sighs> Caps, I really don't like this energy. And in fact, with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles and Justice in reverse, this tells me that it kind of threw you for a little bit of a loop. Uh, yeah, threw you for a little bit of a loop. It made you a little distracted because you got too focused on the actual injustice here. I mean, look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this. That is, that is, that is no bueno. That is no bueno. Um, and then we have this energy. Death in reverse and Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You want to keep digging at it. I can feel that Capricorn. You want to keep digging at it, but just be mindful though. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I mean, it's so funny because you have that Wheel of Fortune in reverse and so does this other person. So does this other person. Caps. Don't get mad at me. Drop the death card. And I was about to, just about to say, you might want to just let it go. You might want to just let those go, okay? Um, I get how you feel. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, I get how you feel. Um, you might want to let this go. You really might want to let this go. Because then we have this energy of the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. This is someone evaluating their, their happiness. Like, evaluating, where's really, like, my wish fulfillment, Right? Like I said, this person doesn't really know what they want. They don't, clearly. Look at this. They're evaluating it. They're trying to evaluate what is their Nine of Cups. They're trying to define their own Nine of Cups here. Yeah, Caps, this is someone who doesn't know what they want. You should just let it go. You should just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And like I said, Six of Wands in reverse, you felt like you got passed over. You felt like you got passed over for something where it was like, like they just didn't see you. Getting assumptions, too. Assumptions. What's this assumptions about? Oh, Cappies, I'm hearing your inner dialogue. I'm so tired of people making assumptions about me. That's what I just heard. I'm so tired of people making assumptions about me. <sighs> Capricorns, they might have had the wrong idea. They might have gotten the wrong idea about you, which is why they're really not sure what they really want here, um, which is why they probably just passed you over. They might have gotten the wrong idea. They might have made some assumptions about you. You know, like, again, if this is, like, workplace and a boss passed you over for something... It's like, oh, well, I don't, well are the, is their skill set really there? Well, I don't, you know, eh, and then that. You know, it's like maybe you worked on some projects, maybe you never got the credit, and so they really don't know that you're capable, right? It could be something like that. Um, yeah, some of you feel like that, some of you feel like you just keep, people keep making assumptions about you, and then you got passed over for something, and you feel very backstabbed. Feel very backstabbed. But like I said, you're going to try a jab at a second chance here. But Caps, I'm telling you, I really feel like you should just let it go. I really feel like you should just let it go. Uh, let's look at the Eight of Cups in reverse. And then we'll go ahead and pull some advice. Mm, he's gilded for this one. Really, cur <laughs> I'm really curious about this, though. Um, just that Seven of Swords is, like, really sticking out at me. Tell me about the... I don't know what that was. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. 
Tell me about Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. Okay. Tell me about Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Oh, wow. Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. So yeah, you, you're spending, I really feel like you're coming up with a plan of action, Cap. Really feel that way. Coming out of hermit mode to return to get a second jab at this plan A, whatever your plan A was, after really thinking about it, contemplating about it. Play with the Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Play with the Eight of Cups in reverse. Judgment. Oh, ho. Oh, Cappies, I feel like we're entering danger zone here. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. You're coming back to take a, a second jab because you feel like you fucking deserve it. it it's very clear. You're just like, I'm going to make sure you take the right call this time. I'm going to make sure you make the right decision this time. Ah. <laughs> oh, Cap. I'm a little scared for you. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. Wait a minute, or is this them? Hold on a second. Mm. No, no. Thought I was feeling their energy for a second. Capricorns, you might actually convince them. You might convince them that they made the wrong judgment call. And that you were the you were the correct judgment call. Interesting. Oh, sorry. I touched up my I got my tattoo touched up today. It's a little sensitive. I literally just had it done. Okay. Play with the eight of cups in reverse. Play with the eight of cups in reverse. For Capricorn. Regarding love. Play with the eight of cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. September first to the eleventh. Oh my. Capricorn, be careful. <laughs> Deal with the devil comes to mind. Herophon, Taurian energy. Of course you are the devil too, Capricorn. Um, you just really fucking want this. You fucking want this. You want this. You want this. You want this. You want this. And you realize you do deserve it. You realize <laughs> that you're going to try really hard to make sure it happens. Um, but if this planet doesn't work out, like I said, you're already manifesting a plan B. So... You're just determined. You're determined here. You're very determined to lock down some kind of agreement, some kind of contract, some kind of project, commitment, a leveling up for some of you, a relationship, what have you. Um, you're determined. <laughs> you're determined. It's almost like you're stepping to this person, <laughs> your plan A, so, and then being like, I already have the contract written up. You just have to sign. <laughs> oh, Capricorns. Okay. All right. And, you know, it could have been a case where someone threw you under the bus, Capricorn. Like, again, especially this, for some of you, this is, like, straight up work. Uh, especially if this is work, it's like someone could have badmouthed you to, like, the person making the decisions. And so they made their decisions based on that. And you're coming in with truth, right? And you're coming in with just being like, here's what's actually going on. Here's the reality. Are you ready to change your mind? Very assertive. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. So I have the Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. But like I said, Cap, this person feels like they don't totally care. So, so I have my Eight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love. Nope, that's it. Overall, yeah, injustice. Oh, shit. Libra energy. Then that Two of Cups right underneath. Cancerian energy could also be soulmate energy for me as a reader. Nine of Wands, Sag energy. And then the Ten of Cups. I Piscean energy. Sag, this is one of the reasons you're pissed. Um, whether this was just a work opportunity for a promotion, a project, what have you, or this was actually, uh, like a soulmate of yours that you were looking at romantically. Um, yeah, this, you're returning because of this injustice that left you seething about this. Cause it's almost like I was really fucking happy. Oh, cat. Oh God. I just got sucked into my heart chakra here. Cap, you know how I was saying it's like, they didn't see me, they didn't see me, they didn't see me? Capricorn, you saw a Ten of Cups with this person. 
for those where this is a romantic situation. You saw the Ten of Cups, but this person is not in their heart space. They're not. They're they're acting from their lower chakras. They're acting from like their sacral and their root. So they're not in their heart space right now. So Capricorns, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying that you saw something that wasn't there. Probably was there, but this person is not in their heart space to see that. You understand what I'm saying? Like when we're not in our attached to our emotional bodies, when we're not tapped into our emotional bodies, when we're not using all of our chakras, when we're not completely aligned like that, especially if we're trying to not sit in our heart chakra, we're not going to see the possibilities when it comes to our emotions. We're not going to see the possibilities when it comes to love and all of that. This person didn't see it. That's why they're like, I don't know if I want this. Because um, they're not in their heart, chakra, heart chakra. They're not acting from that, but you were. Interesting. Okay, Cappies, let's get some advice. Let's get some advice. I, Capricorn, I still think you should let it go. To be honest with you, I still think you should let it go and continue manifesting your plan B. Because like I said, you feel majorly betrayed here. That's a, that feels like a hip, you know, let's just get the Kipper cards. Let's just get the Kipper cards just for fun. Just for fun. Tell me about this um, betrayal because it feels like, he like straight up betrayal is how it feels. You felt like someone put a back, a, a back, <laughs> someone put a knife in your back. Tell me about this betrayal that Capricorn has suffered. Tell me about this betrayal. Interesting community. 39 breaks down to a three. Community is like a social network. It's a social network. It can even be a family or like an actual neighbor, right? Neighbors. Um, interesting. So there's more than one person involved here. It could have felt very public as well, is also what I'm getting for some of you. It could have felt very, very public, which made you even more angry. Made you even more angry. And like I said, workplace, also indicative of that. Whew. Tell me about this betrayal. Tell me about this betrayal. Tell me about this betrayal. No. Tell me about this betrayal. Oh, courtship. Courtship. Uh, beginnings of a business partnership or beginnings of, you know, a romantic partnership. Let's see here. Tell me more about this betrayal. Capricorns, I, feel, I really feel like other people influence this person. I really feel that strongly. Other people around this person influences them, whether it's some, you know, people in the workplace influencing their decisions, like I said, throwing you under the bus or just saying flat out lies, um, or people around them who just didn't want them to do this, like who didn't want them to go down this rabbit hole with you romantically, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Oh, great fortune. 26 breaking down to an eight. Yeah, Capricorns, I think what you saw or felt was not an illusion, <laughs> especially with these cards. It's like great fortune is exactly how it sounds. It's something that's very abundant. It's something that makes you feel very wealthy, very rich in any in any aspect, right? It's something that is quite literally fortunate. <laughs> quite literally. Interesting. Tell me more about this betrayal. Tell me more about this betrayal. Yeah, Capricorns, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever this was about to be or like on the way to it being what you thought it was going to be, I think it was supposed to be very uh, fortunate. I like I can't get off of that word. I think it was supposed to be very fortunate. It was supposed to be it was supposed, it was supposed to work out in your favor and it just didn't because of these external factors. So about this betrayal. What did I say, Cappies? What did I say? Some of you, there was, you know, someone who basically threw you under the bus at work or, you know, basically led you to believe one thing and led you to believe something. Led you to believe something. Let's see what else we have here. And again, I'm like, I keep getting pulled back into this king. This king, like I, I can't emphasize this enough. This king doesn't know what they want. They don't know what they want. So, if it, so for example, if this is romantic and they don't know what they want, how could they possibly know how to how to proceed in a situation, right? Tell me more about this betrayal. Tell me more about this betrayal. Let's see here. Wow. Now we yeah, and it's funny. Expectation came out and it landed right on community, <laughs> like flat out right on community. Um, so actually, in that case, I'm, I will hold up all these cards like this. So. 
caps, like I said, I feel really strongly that there's external factors here. Oh, oh, I'm all fuzzy. Oh, come back. I really feel like there's external factors here who influence this person uh, to make a decision or not make a decision or what have you, because it, it just feels like a major betrayal to you. Um, and like I said, there's something about it that feels very public. Something about it feels very public, but there's something about this that um, was supposed to lead, I, I feel like it was supposed to lead to abundance. It was supposed to, supposed to, they keep telling me supposed to, supposed to lead to abundance. An expectation with community, that is flat out like expectations of other people, right? Expectations of other people and whoever this King of Wands is to you. Um, like I said, it's like, I feel like they didn't really see you. They didn't really see you. They made a lot of assumptions based off of other people around them. And then overall, imprisonment, nine of, like a very nine of swords energy. And then we have, oh, this is interesting, poverty and then toil and labor. What's so fascinating to me is that poverty and toil and labor are like the male and male and female, what's <laughs> hard for me to say, male and female obligation energy. Obligation. Underneath that we have thoughts. So it's interesting to me because it's like clearly this person did think about it and they've been thinking about it. They're still thinking, it's in the back of their head. But I think this person is like terrified of obligation as well, for those where this is romantic. There's something about obligation here. There's a male and a female that feels obligated, like trapped in obligation, trapped in obligation. Um, take that as it resonates, because that's not gonna be for everybody. But let's go ahead and get some advice from you Capricorns while you take a jab at plan A, while you start manifesting plan B. <laughs> Any advice for my Capricorns? Any advice for my Capricorns? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Hi. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Okay. But like I said, Cap, at either way, I really feel like you should just let it go. That's just my personal advice. Any advice for my Capricorns? Skunk Spirit just came out. Oh, know your worth. Cappies, 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 Cappies. 54 bringing on to a nine. Cappy, you do know your worth. You know your value. But that's why I'm saying you should probably just let plan A go. Because like I said, I, I hate to say this, but I just feel like this person doesn't really care because like I said, they're not acting from their heart space. If this is romantic for you, they're not acting from the heart space. They're acting from their lower chakras. Okay. Their sacral, their root is what I'm getting really heavy. So they're acting from a lot of like active fiery energy, like wanting to take action on stuff, wanting to be proactive, wanting to go out. Um, and I'm getting a lot of se uh, sexy energy, a lot of sexual energy with that too. But Capricorns, that's so crazy. Skunk came out. Uh, I forgot there was a skunk in this deck. You know, your worth here, Cap. You know, your worth. And like I said, for a lot of you, it seems like this is an ongoing pattern for you, which is which I think is why you're so frustrated of people making assumptions about you and not seeing you for who you are, not recognize not recognizing your power, not recognizing your skill set, not recognizing what a catch you are. If this is romantic, um, but you know your worth, Cap. So if this person doesn't want to see it, isn't that their mistake, right? That's their mistake. You can keep trying to prove it to them if you want to, if you want to. But Caps, I think you know what's best for you here. I think you know what to do here. Any other advice? And you know, especially if this is romantic, let them lose you. Let them lose you. And then they'll wake up one day and be like, oh, why am I thinking of Capricorn? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just saying. If this is romantic for you. I thought for a lot of you this is happening in the workplace. Like it's business related. Any advice for Capricorn regarding this spread? Hmm. Any advice for Capricorn? Oh, Capricorn. This landed right on you planning out your next your, your next plan. Your plan B. You're manifesting your plan B. Starfish spirit. Starfish spirit. Open to infinite possibilities. 59 breaking down to a 5. So like I said, for some of you, this was definitely a tower moment. Um, whatever this actual betrayal was, right? Um, but Capricorns, you're still trying to manifest your plan B, which is exactly what you should do. This is a very Seven of Cups energy to me. You're still dreaming of your other possibilities, other doors you can open, other relationships you can explore. 
go out and do it. Don't be so guarded, but go out and do it. Go out and do it. You know your worth, Cap. Go find someone who matches your worth. Go find someone who not only matches your worth, but also sees all of what you're worth, okay? <laughs> I love you, Caps. I just heard, I'm worth the world. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Any advice for my Capricorns? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Oh, yeah, Cappies. Yeah, you gotta let this go. You gotta let this go. Any advice for Capricorns regarding this spread? Oh, perfect overall advice. Oh, this is interesting. So we had wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. Closing out a cycle, right? Yeah, just let it go. Let it go. It might have made you pissed off as hell, but let it go. Let it go. Then we have dolphin spirit. This and that are true. 20 breaking down to a two. And then we have grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. 30 breaking down to a three. This card, dolphin spirit, is very Gemini to me. It's about um, having your... Uh, your shadow side and your light side incorporated uh, and balanced, integrated is what I meant to say, not incorporated, incorporated, uh, your masculine, balanced in your masculine and feminine energies, and also about transitions at that, okay? And grasshopper spirit, taking a leap of faith, that's very much like a full energy. Actually, it's kind of reminding me of the lover's card that I got in your pre-shuffle. Oh, I think this is advice for the king. This is advice for the king. Remember what I was saying? They're acting out of their lower chakras and they're actually trying to not, to not sit in their heart space. This is advice to get integrated and jump. This is advice to get integrated and to take that leap, take that risk, make that choice. But you can't make that choice until you're balanced and, and aligned. And this person is not. Like I said, they're acting out of their, their sacral and their root for the most part. They're not acting out of their heart chakra. I also feel like this person's um, seeing a lot of blue energy. Uh, definitely their throat chakra and a little bit of their third eye is also kind of blocked off too. Yeah, it's almost like this person's upper chakras are, are getting blocked off and they're acting just out of their lower. It's very interesting. Overall, Panther Spirit, reclaim your power. 44 is a master number. Get get back up on that horse, Capricorn, and go for your plan B. Let, let plan A go. Let plan A go. If this is romantic, let this person get aligned and do whatever they got to do because clearly they're, they're trying to not be in their heart space for a reason. They're trying to not be in their heart space for a reason, which is why they don't really care. You can't really care about something if you're not sitting in your heart space, right? Um, anyway, Cappies, reclaim your power. Get back up on that horse. Go for your plan B, whether it's work related, you know, and maybe you want to find a new job or what have you. Uh, or if it's romance related, go out and explore your options. Go out and explore your options, okay? All right, Capricorns. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Namaste.